G'day, welcome to the Tech Math Channel, I'm Josh. Today, I'm going to show you a trick for working at the total surface area of any rectangular prism, something like this, almost instantly. So let's start off with an example. We'll see how fast you can solve the total surface area of this rectangular prism right here. We have a height of four units, a width of seven units, and a depth of three units. I'll tell you what, you should be able to solve this in around about five seconds. What about you give this a go? Go for it. So time's up. Did you get the following answer? That the total surface area of this rectangular prism is 122 units squared. If you did, congratulations. If not, don't worry because right now I'm going to show you a great little trick for working at the total surface area of any rectangular prism. Before we get into that, I'm just going to show you the three rectangles we have involved just to explain what's going on as I show you this trick. So with this particular rectangular prism here, we have three different rectangles involved. We have the ones on the side here, and they measure three times four. We have the ones on the top and the bottom here, and they measure seven times three. And we have the ones on the back and the front here, and they measure seven by four. So as you can see, what we'd usually do is we'd work out the area of one, we'd work out the area of the other, we'd work out the area of the other, We'd add our answers together and then we'd multiply by two. This one's just a little variation and a shortcut on this. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add two of the side lengths together. We can choose any two of the side lengths. Seven plus three is equal to 10. And we multiply this by the other side length. Multiply by four. And that gives us the first part of our answer. So what have we just worked out there? Well, we've worked out the seven multiplied by four and we've worked out three multiplied by four. We've worked those out pretty much straight away just by doing this calculation here. That leaves us with one last rectangle. We have these two numbers here and we multiply. This is a seven by three rectangle. Seven multiplied by three, this is equal to 21. Now what we're going to do is we add these guys together. 40 plus 21 is equal to 61. Finally, we multiply by two and we have our answer. 61 multiplied by two is 122. So that's how you can go through and work out the total surface area of any rectangular prism almost instantly. Start by adding two of the side lengths and then multiplying by the other side length. That takes care of two of the rectangles. Then you multiply those two side lengths that you added in the first place. That takes care of the last rectangle. Finally, we add our two answers together and multiply by two. We've got our answer. Do you like this trick? If you do, hit the like button and subscribe and leave me a comment in the comments telling me what you think. So what about we go through and have a look at another example here. So now let's have a look at this example here. We have a rectangular prism that has a height of six units, a width of nine units, and a depth of five units. So that first step, we're going to add two of the side lengths together. Now the ones I'm going to add together are these two here, six and five, because they give me a nice answer of 11. And because I know I'm multiplying next, well, who doesn't love multiplying by 11, right? Uh, 11 multiplied by nine. A nice easy question which is equal to 99. The next thing we do is we're going to multiply 5 by 6. 5 by 6 that is equal to 30. Uh, we add all these together 99 plus 30 is 129 and then we multiply this by 2 we have our answer. The total surface area is going to be 258 units squared. So there you go, that's the trick for working at the total surface area of any rectangular prism almost instantly. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe, and maybe even leave me a comment telling me of a video that you'd like me to make, a maths video, that'd be awesome. Big shout out to my patrons. Thank you, your support is always well appreciated. If you wish to become a patron of the Tech Math channel, well, you won't get very much. Uh, I'm not promising the world, but you do support my videos and it does help keep the lights on and it's always well appreciated. There is a link in the comments. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.